effectively breaking into the story is essential for commercial streaming platform like HBO Max. Some less experienced director may take more than half hour to introduce the thesis. Tokyo Vice Episode 1 is directed by Michael Mann, one of the Hollywood's leading directors, who directed Heat, The Insider and more. It has been seven full years since he directed the sadly overlooked techno-thriller Black Hat in 2015, but I think his five-minute opening is powerful and neat which worth to learn from it. They're not shooting in the public place. What a relief. For those who may not know what is Tokyo Vice yet, it is a crime drama series loosely inspired by American journalist Jake Adelstein's non-fiction first-hand account of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police beat. The series, filmed on location in Tokyo, captures Adelstein's daily descent into the neon-soaked underbelly of Tokyo in the late 90s. An entire Tokyo underworld is built around a spider's web that connects the reporters, the cops, the mob syndicates and all those in debt to them. Eight episodes guide us into Tokyo's Heart of Darkness, an operatic playground of vices spread across hostess clubs, love hotels, pachinko parlors and alleyways all drenched in glistening neon and witch shadows. Miyamoto-san. Tell me, how do reporters and police work, huh? Get Jump back. There's no murder in Japan. With a bit background of the series, let's see how it breaks into the world of Yakuza, the main questions the protagonist Jake Adelstein is facing with less than five minutes. In the first 30 seconds they are wearing stab-proof vest, and one detective colleague reminds them not to eat or drink anything other than the inside man. But with all these preparations, within one minute it unfolds one unexpected situation, they have rearranged the location of meeting with the Yakuza, and what they have planned gone vain. With this opening image of uncertainty and danger with Yakuza, the theme is immediately stated when the one of the members warns Adelstein the dire consequences if he continues with his investigation. His probe into the dealings of Yakuza's to Mazua-san has upset the organization. The offer is to drop the probe and get to live. Pointing out the theme of danger being a Yakuza crime reporter in the first five minutes, the timeline jumped back to two years in 1999 to uncover why this reporter has chosen this path when Jake was preparing for the entrance test to Japan's largest newspaper, Meicho Shimbun. For the following of the stories I would make other videos to comment. In this short video, I would say the start of this series is powerful and neat, without any unnecessary narration.